local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're in Montpelier with Amanda Gustin, the Public Programs Manager for the Vermont Historical Society, and we're at the Vermont History Museum. What are we talking about today? So we're going to go inside the Vermont History Museum and we're going to see an object that a lot of people call the most exciting object in the History Museum. It's something that Calvin Coolidge wrote when he was a boy. He still remembered as an adult getting to come face to face with part of Vermont's history. Let's go. All right, Amanda, I have to agree with Coolidge. I've been here a few times before, and this is certainly one of the most memorable parts. What is going on here? So it's, it's a catamount. Uh, this is the last catamount uh, shot in the state of Vermont. Catamounts were hunted in Vermont for, for quite a while before that. It was actually part of the first set of laws of the state of Vermont that you could legally hunt down and receive a bounty uh, for killing a catamount. So on Thanksgiving Day in 1881, a uh, 15-year-old boy named James Cadwell was out, and he came across some tracks in the freshly fallen snow. So he went and got a few more people. Uh, one of them was a man named Alexander Crowell, and eventually they came across this catamount. And Alexander Crowell uh, shot him twice uh, and killed him. And then for years afterwards, they actually, um, they mounted him and they brought him around and charged people to see him. For people who are new to Vermont or, or maybe aren't familiar with the term catamount, where did that nomenclature come from? That's a great question and it's one we get a lot. So let's head to a different part of our exhibit and I'll tell you. The catamount, which is also a mountain lion, a cougar, a panther, uh, and a ton of other words, is actually one of the most widely distributed mammals in the whole world. So you can imagine there's a lot of local names for this same animal. In Vermont, there are three words that would have been, that would describe this animal. Uh, the earliest would be bitolo, which is the Abnaki word uh, for catamount. It means long tail. Around the time uh, our cat was killed, it probably mostly would have been panther. And now we most commonly use the word catamount. Uh, it comes from cat of the mountains. It actually comes from Shakespeare. And you see that word used sort of up and down uh, Appalachia, including here in Vermont. At what point did the general view go from a nuisance animal to maybe sort of a sense of regret? Yeah, so the last was killed in 1881, right? Within about 50 years, the language starts to change and they see all these qualities that they had feared in the catamount how what an incredible predator it was how athletic it was and they started to think those are positive qualities too so you start to get starting in about the 1920s uh, this just slow uh, build of things that are named after the catamount and by the middle of the century it's just exploding and of course now uh, you know you drive around on the highway you see a truck pass you with a catamount business name there are the license plates and there is artwork and and all of these things that uh, we use today, catamount has just become shorthand for a certain representation of Vermont. There are people watching this who know that they have seen a catamount. What do you say to them? I say people have told me dozens and dozens of stories of having seen a catamount. Vermont Fish and Wildlife says they get anywhere between 50 and 75 sightings of catamounts here in Vermont today. And a couple of biologists that I talked to when I was putting this exhibit together said it's not if, it's when they come back. So. You know what you saw, I'm not gonna tell you otherwise, but I would encourage you, uh, if you have seen a catamount, we have a section of our exhibit here where you can tell us. So come to the Vermont History Museum and tell us about it. At this place in history. Local news that matters on Local 22 News.